Yeah, you know, um, I started back in May um, doing some outdoor testing uh, with Factory Cowie here, um, the 450 side, and it's been awesome. These guys have brought me in like like family. Um, I feel like we've done a good job developing the bike for Supercross. Uh, we started that back um, actually in August, so we started really early, and uh, yeah, I think it's paying off now. We're still working right now, but um, yeah, everything's going super smooth. Um, my main role here is to help develop the bike and make it as good as I can for these two riders. Obviously, that that's tough to do because obviously when you're riding it, you want to set it up for you. But um, the goal here is to make it as good as we can for them um, to go out here and, and win races and do the best they can. Yeah, so I'm training. Me and Jason started training together back in September. So when he got here and uh, started in October with the team, um, we started training physically off the bike and um, obviously going to the track with them week in and week out since pretty much. So um, it's been a breath of fresh air for me, this new gig. And uh, I can't thank these guys enough for giving me this opportunity to be part of it. Yeah, last weekend was was, was surreal to be honest, um, to be part of something like that um, as a group. Obviously neither one, I mean, us as a group, we weren't on the bike, but it's cool to be part of something um, like that on this side of the fence compared to what I'm used to doing, you know, racing and doing it for myself. So for me, it was uh, it was awesome to see some hard work pay off, not only for myself, not only for the team, obviously for Jason. Um, it's been since 2018 since he's won a race. And I feel like that shows that he's uh, he's ready to get back where he was when he, uh, whenever he won the championship in 2018. Yeah, honestly, we try to just come together and make the best plan together and I mean, I have my beliefs, he has his beliefs, and we come together and um, there, there is, work needs to be put in either way. So we've worked together throughout the off season, throughout the weeks, and if we do need to make changes, we make changes. And I think that's what's cool about doing it, um, you know, doing it different, um, I should say, than, than most. I think that it's not really a set program or set schedule that needs to be done um, 100%. And I think each rider, needs are different and that's what I try to cater to um, as a racer it becomes difficult you know there's a lot of stress there's a lot of external things going on you know throughout the off season throughout race weekends throughout the weeks in between races like um, if if something needs to be changed we we will um, uh, coordinate that um, together and, and make a plan yeah so on the nutrition side we just we're on the same page like and that's what's been cool with jason jason and i are pretty similar when it comes to a lot of beliefs um about food about the training and the riding as well so like that's where and even his riding style and technique and maybe even small areas throughout the weekend that he needs to work on i feel like both of us are on the same page and um we've worked very closely like at the track obviously this whole off season um and i've I've learned to, you know, in the beginning, it was kind of letting him get in the get in the groove. And then um, honestly, my my input has been minimal, but it's been I think the stuff that has been done um, is where is where it, or it has been used has really helped him um, in the big picture, I think. Yes, we we had that done initially when he got here to California. So, yes, we um, obviously train with heart rate um, on our bicycle rides and whatnot we do follow a heart rate based um, training protocol. Um, but obviously there's there's variables that go in that as well. It depends on the days before what he's done or how much body he's put it, how much stress his body's been under. Um, so it's just communication and understanding where he's at physically and mentally um, stress wise to, to maximize obviously the whole package. You no, know, we all we all over here work together. I mean, even, even with Adam, I mean, we've, um, I like to know where they're at and what they've been doing. Um, I like to know where he's struggling as well. Um, on Jason's side, I I basically gave both of these guys, or we as a group gave both of these guys kind of an updated base package to start at. And both guys are a little bit different, but overall they're pretty much on the same setup um, overall. So the initial base setup was based off of what we developed throughout August and September and the guys kind of uh, fine-tuned it to themselves and their liking. Um, and right now, um, we're currently working on improving a little bit more on the bike. So I've rode um, four times in the last couple of weeks. So we're, we're working um, still behind the scenes, trying to improve it and get it better. No, it's honestly, I think that's who he is as a person. He, he's a very, you know, 
um, easy spoken person, likes to do his own thing. But when it comes down to work and his willingness to, to do what he needs to, he absolutely puts in the work. And honestly, he's impressed, I think, not only myself and, and the team, but he's really impressed, I think, us as a group as, as a whole with how much effort he put in this off season, um, not only off the bike with me, but also at the track. If, if um, he felt like he needed to do more, we did it. And if there was days he was tired um, for bicycle rides and whatnot, and we had two hours that day, we did two hours. And um, yeah, he's, he's stuck to what's been on the schedule and he's put in his work. And obviously, like you said, to be at this level, there's no faking it. Um, and the win last weekend shows, I think shows that for everybody. I think he, his image is kind of misconception through, through, um, you know, the way he operates just as a human, but when it comes to work, he's, he's really dedicated and motivated to, I think, get back to where he was. And I think he showed that, like I said, last weekend.